Hello brown lash lovers, this is Jessica at J. Deborah Beauty. Today I want to talk about my silver clients and what products I choose from Plume and how I use Plume's products to help me do a consultation to tint. I have broken up Plume into two categories. I have warm, which is cinnamon cashmere and also my autumn sunset. So cinnamon cashmere is the darker color, autumn sunsets for those true copper clients. And then in the cool tones, I have Ashy Daybreak, Chestnut Decadence, and Endless Midnight. So my experience with Plume Beauty is that the brow gels are very um, sheer, which I love. And it's almost like the brow gels don't deposit the way the thicker brow gels do. But then on the flip side, thicker brow gels, I have to really teach clients how to scrape it off and how to wear it off to not make a mess. So what I have learned is that the pomades seem to work better for my silver clients. Then I will start my pomade trial in the warm tones with the you know autumn sunset if they're really a redhead. If they are um, a blonde, if they were originally brunette, I will start my consultation with the lighter tone and I work my way darker to not scare them because often silver haired clients have a mix of light hair and dark hair. We're trying to find the color that makes them feel like themselves. And white silver hair is often neutral. So you really can pick based on the person's identity. What do they identify as? It doesn't always have to be blonde if they're silver haired. Now the benefit to pomades for trying before tinting is you can wash them off. And I always tell my clients, we can wash this off. If it's too dark, if it's too light, we'll wash it off. So it's a great way to have a client see themselves and then I take a picture with each pomade on the hair. And that way the client sees themselves with some distance and they can really see what they might look like. After they've seen themselves in their photos, they can determine, I like myself with the blonde, I like myself with the chestnut, I like myself with the endless midnight. You can find out through those trials. It takes just a few minutes. And then I use Bronson's tinting. So let's say they really identified with the warmer tone. I often simplify it down to light brown. And I don't make it more complicated for myself often. We start with light brown for my warmer tones. And then if someone identifies in the cooler tones, then I have it in this hierarchy. I have chestnut as a very neutral brown, and I, I use this. Or if they are very, like I would say, they're not silver, but maybe a really big mix even in their hair of slate and silver where they almost look gray, like a very neutral, like white color. Or even if you hear them say, I don't like when things are warm, I don't like yellow, I don't like orange, this is a good graphite, it's a safe, very neutral for those slate white hair clients. So you can even go so far as to deep black. It's not the blue base. So if you have a client who really identifies with a very natural, deep brunette color, more so than chestnut, Maybe it has, you know, like Asian, Latin American background. Again, you're trying with the pomades first. This is also a safe color for those deep brunettes that don't want orange or red or yellow in the undertones. If you have someone who identifies as blonde, you can always start with light brown. You can always start here. And then if they want to cool it down, you can always make, cooler will always look darker. So if you're still not sure and you're between these two, always start lighter. You can always go darker hard to lighten a tint. Now the way that I help my grays when I'm tinting is I use saran wrap over the brow to trap the body heat. It opens the cuticle with the heat. I don't know if you've seen people in a hair salon, they're getting color on their grays and they'll have a heater. The heater opens the cuticle and lets the color get inside. So that's what we do with brows is we put saran wrap. You could probably use a silicone mold as well to trap the body heat and then I check it at five minutes, wipe it off with a dry Q-tip, and then I check it at 10 and wipe it off with a dry Q-tip, and maybe up to 15. So you're really checking it along the way, and you may not reapply tint to every hair you touch. You're just slowly but surely focusing down the few resistant white hairs, and maybe you don't need the heat after the first five minutes. That first five minutes of trapping their body heat is what opens the cuticle. And then I rinse everything with water. But having the consultation tools of these swatches, which is really helpful for the brow industry, we haven't had anything this helpful. With the 
taking pictures with the pomades to get the client to see themselves. I really think that this has helped me communicate with my silver clients and set expectations and teach them how to potentially do this at home. All of these kits are available for home use or they can have the cosmetics if they feel like that is more their speed. They could have both. It really gives them control at home to know how to manage the color the way they like. And then when they come in to talk to me, the appointment's always about educating too. So I just like to see where they're at and help them know how to be in control of it and not be totally codependent on me. And then just to reestablish, I don't think the gels are perfect for um, white hairs if they're trying to get color. Although I will backtrack, if somebody is all white, not one stitch of slate, there is no dark color, you may find that brow gel might be enough, especially with the ashy daybreak or the chestnut. Just because um, if they're just trying to get a hint, like just a little bit of color, if they're very scared, they're so silver that a lot of color could be too much, they might actually be better with brow gels. No tint, just brow gel. So if you hear them say, oh my gosh, I can't have color, I'm so scared, I, can't, I don't know myself with color, the little hint of brow gel just on the white hairs might be perfect. Little concealer underneath, call it a day. Don't scare them, so kind of meet them where they're at, but makeup is a great way to find out what they're comfortable with in a non-committal way. So I hope it helps you if you're supporting people who are silver. If you have any questions, let me know, but this is how I have been having fun with that community with Bloom products and Bronson Tint. I hope this helps. Bye. Backtrack. Hi, <laughs> Bloom.